Hi everyone, today we're going to be having a look at colouring these cherries. Now we're going to be using um, polychromos, obviously lots of red. I thought we'd actually start with the green though, just to get that bit done um, first. Now I'm quite a fan of um, these sorts of greens for our fruit leaves, they seem to work quite well. So we have here the um, leaf green and the grass green colours and uh, so I'm just going to use the darker one first, I sharpen it a little bit because that's a very small space. If you look at how small it is compared to my finger. So we're going to use the leaf green first and think about where that's going to be the darkest. I'm going to put it darker near the cherry and near the top. Sometimes there's a bit of brown on the stalk of the uh, of the um, cherries but I'm not going to worry about doing that. Now for this leaf I'm going to do it a little bit darker at the bottom and then just gently reduce that as we go up and we we'll add our lighter green to the top. So the same here dark at the bottom and then just little circles and lighten your um, lighten your pressure towards the top. That's it, nice and simple. And now we're getting our other green sharpened up. This is the grass green. And we just basically fill in the spaces. We've done all the hard work. I'm going to um, still keep keep a harder pressure here and here. Just reduce it as we get to the middle of the stalk. Just so we can create the impression of a little bit of shine. And the same on the leaves. So push harder and do more layers on top of where the other green is and then just reduce it towards the top. So hard here, start reducing pressure here in less layers and then just a few at the top. There we go, we're not leaving any white paper, we're not on the stalk and the leaves, we will on the cherry though. So cherry reds, we don't have a cherry red in the polychromos but we have a nice variety of reds. I'm thinking that we might um, go for the madder to start with. This is quite a pinky red, which I think will be rather nice. Now I'm going to mark out the areas where I want it to have a little bit of shine. So what I'm going to do is add a light layer of colour to the cherry, but leave a gap where I want the white. I'm actually following a picture so I'm using that as my guide. So that's why I want the white there. And I'm going to do the same on this one. It's quite simple. Just gently marking it out like that. Then we can start to add some deeper colour. Now it's going to be darker underneath where there's shadow here. And in between them here. So start off by making that really intense and then gradually lighten your layers up towards that white. Don't colour over that. I'm going to... <coughs> Excuse me. I hope I didn't make you jump. I'm sorry. I'm going to do quite a dark layer up this edge as well. And then lighten that towards the centre too. So we go up towards that white. And it's going to be quite dark around the stalk because usually where the stalk is we have, it dips into the fruit. I'm just going to make that area a little smaller, just because this is quite a small cherry. And now we're going to do the same on this one, so quite very dark along the bottom. Gradually reduce that, but still in between them, fairly dark. Slighten it up towards the middle really, but we want to mark out this bit here again, where the stalk it's going to be pushed into the cherry and around and again I'm going to make that white just a little bit smaller. Okay, now I'm going to take a darker red. I'm going to use this one which is 217 which is the middle cadmium red to mark out the areas where I want it to be darker so as as I said, around here, like that, and then underneath and the edges, where I have essentially already made darker markings, 
just to really overstate that I guess and then we can come back in with the madder to graduate that more because we've got a harsh line at the moment sorry I've got a croaky voice I have got a coffee I will have one as soon as I finished I'll have a sip of coffee but I'll get this done first because there isn't much to go so you can see what I'm doing I'm just adding to the colour here and there till I'm happy just going to reduce that even more just so it's just a minuscule bit because it is a really small cherry isn't it now the last little touch that I want to do is to grab my black and uh, where the um, where these go in here I'm just going to tone in just a little tad of black just to really make it look as if that's dipped in to the fruit there and that's it I'm not going to fiddle with that anymore I'm quite happy with that so there's our pair of cherries so well I hope you um liked that video and I hope you're going to have a go I do hope that you have a go at some of these and then pop them on Instagram and if you put hashtag Johanna Basford I always look at all the pictures under hashtag Johanna Basford I'll be able to see them and see what you've been up to so uh, please do that but uh, there we go. Thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.